Hello and welcome to this travel vlog. My name is Janika and I am an expat from Finland living in the Netherlands and as you might recognize from the background Today I am in Rotterdam and the plan is actually to stay here for today and tomorrow so I have a hotel booked for tonight and this is a bit of a solo trip by myself and well you guys are also joining and yeah I have two fun days ahead planned so I'm very much looking forward to it and I hope you guys will enjoy joining me along first things first let's go and have something to eat there's this really cute cafe I've been wanting to try out for super long and it shouldn't be too long of a walk from here so yeah let's head over there. So I have come to this Japanese style souffle pancake restaurant. I've never had these kind of super fluffy souffle pancakes before, so I'm really excited to try them. I've been wanting to try them for super long. I'm sitting here by the window by a cute looking sakura tree. So. Creme brulee is one of my absolute favorite desserts and when I saw that they had a creme brulee flavor I had to try it but honestly I was expecting it to maybe be a bit of a creamy vanilla flavor but this actually tastes like a creme brulee I'm impressed That pancake was amazing, it wasn't just pretty, it also tasted so good I am really happy now and now I'm gonna start heading towards the hotel but I'm gonna visit some clothing stores on the way because can you guys believe it I forgot my bikini and the hotel has a spa that I would really like to visit so I'm gonna try and see if I could find some bikinis that are not too expensive so fingers crossed was able to find something to swim in. I went to this underwear shop and bought a swimsuit. So I know Rotterdam is one of those cities that divides a lot of opinions. Yeah, it's nothing like the rest of the Netherlands. It's much more urban, much more modern. They don't have the canals or typical Dutch houses here. But what I do like about Rotterdam is the fact that it is so different from the rest of the country. So when I'm here, it kind of feels like I'm abroad. It feels like I'm in a different country because yeah, it doesn't feel Dutch at all. Just checked into my room. The best part is definitely the view. I paid a bit extra to get the waterfront view. But yeah, let me give you guys a bit of a room tour. So it's not super big, but I think this is just the right size for one person to spend one night. And then let's check here. We have the bathroom. It's a big bed, looks comfortable. And there's a TV and yeah, but definitely the best part of this room is the view. Look at this. Wow! And when you look to the right, you can actually see the Erasmus Bridge from here. So yeah, I am super happy with the view. Okay, I'm afraid I don't have more time to stay and just relax here in the hotel room now because I have a museum I want to visit. And after that, I also have another activity booked for tonight. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Oh, okay, so change of plans. I don't know where my head is at today. I had quite a hectic morning and it seems like I have forgotten my museum card home. And I only have a few weeks left on the museum card, so I really want to use it. And also, I had planned to go to two museums here and they were quite expensive, like 20 euros each. So, <laughs> yeah. But my boyfriend promised me to send a picture of the museum card but that means I can't visit those two museums until tomorrow. I was planning to do one today and one tomorrow. My head is just, I don't know. Today I haven't been able to focus at all. My brain is just really tired at the moment and clearly not working. First I forgot the swimsuit and now the museum card and 
yeah, it's a mess. But luckily there's actually something else I also been wanting to visit here in Rotterdam and it's right next to my hotel. And this place doesn't accept a museum card anyway. So I'm gonna go here instead and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to visit those museums with my museum card. This digital art experience at the remastered Rotterdam was really cool. And while waiting, you get to color some photos that then go on the big screen. Once it is your turn, you follow a set route together with a group of people leading you to different rooms and each room offers you a different kind of experience. cool i honestly whoa it's raining a bit i honestly didn't know what to expect but super super cool time to head to the next destination and get my umbrella out that i did remember so <laughs> let's use it oh my god i can't with myself anymore i realized i had left my big photography camera in the hotel room and i really want to get some pictures from the next destination uh, luckily my hotel was quite close by even though it felt like the traffic lights were taking forever and i was able to go and grab it, but I am afraid I'm gonna be a few minutes late to my time slot that I have for the next thing. Now to save a bit of time I'm gonna take the tram there. But oh my god, I, I don't know what's going on with me today. I keep forgetting everything. My brain is super scattered. I can't focus on anything. I'm only a few minutes late so I hope it won't be a problem. Our destination is over, oh, how can I show, over there. So I am now at the Euro Must and you can see the whole city from up here and the sun is about to set. Unfortunately it's a cloudy day so we can't see that but soon we'll be seeing the city also when it's dark. I believe that the black building over there is our hotel. Maybe. I'm not sure though. I think it's that one. have paid extra to go up all the way up there and yeah I'm sorry it's very windy here um, yeah in case of emergency evacuation will be issued by rope access Oh. 
proud to be, not afraid of adventure, always changing. The core of Rotterdam is to overcome challenges. Connecting the past with the future. I think it's gonna be dark in like 15 minutes or so. I'm gonna wait until it's completely dark. So it's probably 15, 20 minute wait or something. Luckily I'm not in a rush because I wanna see also Rotterdam from above in the dark. Over there you can see the Rotterdam Harbor and it's actually the biggest like seaport harbor in all of Europe. In my previous Rotterdam video, we actually did a boat tour around the whole harbor area. So if you're interested in seeing that, then I'll link the video down below. Honestly, what's up with Rotterdam and these traffic lights? Every single traffic light, you have to wait for an extremely long time. Waiting, waiting. Oh, finally! I am now back at the hotel. My plan is to soon go and have some dinner, but I came quickly to the hotel and I'm honestly just for half an hour gonna rest a little bit because it's been quite a hectic day and also my camera and phone needs a little bit of charging so I'm gonna charge my devices and myself and then the plan is to go to a nice restaurant that I've been recommended that is very close by the hotel. I think being in Rotterdam feels slightly like what I could imagine New York feeling like. Well, maybe not as hectic but I don't know, like the big city vibes and skyscrapers and that kind of things. This makes me want to travel to New York. <laughs> was really really good portion size was also very big the plan now is to go back to the hotel room it has been a long day for me <laughs> Okay, I lied a little bit. I came to check out the view here by the Erasmus Bridge quickly still before getting to my hotel because yeah, I'm staying right next to it and I've never seen it in the nighttime before and it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Let me show you guys. back at the hotel room but I must say I'm not feeling the best I've had this uh, yeah a bit of a migraine all day and now it seems to be intensifying like a lot I'm currently washing my makeup off I hope tomorrow my brain works again and I don't forget absolutely everything <laughs> morning i was able to sleep pretty well and now today thankfully i feel much much better than yesterday currently i am getting ready to head down to the spa i'm actually wearing the swimsuit right now that i bought yesterday together with pants because i'm not gonna go to spa <laughs> um half naked but the swimsuit like this together with pants it looks like i'm wearing a shirt so that's pretty nice spa visit has been really relaxing and now I'm trying to change. I hope this is reflective glass because if not then this is a extremely revealing changing room. <laughs> they can't have uh, half of Rotterdam seeing your naked butt 
while well changing or can they? <laughs> oh my god. Goodbye hotel room. Time to check out and go off to today's adventures. a really lovely brunch restaurant and this place has a lovely like French cafe vibe to it and I ordered a smoothie this smoothie has mango pineapple and coconut in it I think so good thank you thanks This restaurant's hollandaise sauce is one of the best ones I've ever had actually. In a lot of places I feel like it's good but they kind of miss the real flavor. This one has really nailed it. The brunch I just had was really really good. It felt like a bit of a luxurious moment and I loved the vibe, the music. It was a very nice place. I definitely recommend visiting it. Just when I was going, some girl came up to me or woman came and asked me that they saw that I was vlogging and they asked for my channel and stuff. And I don't know, it was really cute, but I always get a bit shy in those moments. I don't really know what to say. Now I'm gonna go to a museum and fingers crossed it is okay for me to visit, even though I don't have my museum card online it says that you can't really use your museum card unless you have it physically with you but i do have a picture of the qr code and everything so i'm really really hoping they'll let me in we have arrived or i have arrived to the destination it's a very cool looking building oh Oh my god, this weather, I can't. I have managed to get inside the museum and I was able to use my museum card even though I only had a picture of it. So this is like a modern art museum. The building itself looks really cool. I actually don't know much about this place. Apparently that was also possible to do a free walking tour, but the next one in English didn't start until two o'clock and it's now 12. So I didn't feel like waiting for two hours. So we'll just do it you and me instead. actually not a museum this is the depot of another museum so there's this museum called museum boymans that's right next to this place um, unfortunately it is closed today i think they are just changing the exhibit there and this is basically where they store all the art you can see huge collections of different kinds of art You can also visit the roof here and see the city from above and as it's a rainy day they actually provide an umbrella that you can borrow.
I came back outside and the sun has come out, it's not raining anymore, so that makes me really happy. And now next I'm gonna go to a really cute cafe I've been wanting to try out. Unfortunately, the cafe I wanted to go to was closed, even though it was supposed to be open according to Google Maps. Luckily, we are right next to the market hall. This is like a huge food hall full of restaurants and food stalls and everything. to fog up my lens on my camera a bit probably because the weather has been really bad so yeah now it's completely foggy and the fog is like on the inside of the lens so i've been trying to warm it up and i'm really hoping that it will defog itself eventually after warming up and drying up let's hope for the best um, i now came to a place called japanese curry it's a restaurant here in the market hall you might recognize this place if you watched my previous vlog from rotterdam yeah i didn't mean to come here to the same place but honestly i was really craving the food that they have here but yeah i tried to do something a bit different and i didn't order curry this time but i ordered this like japanese katsu sandwich I'm waiting for my food now and fingers crossed my camera will be okay soon again i can show you guys what it looks like at the moment so this is what it looks like on my camera at the moment i'm very sad hopefully it'll fix itself because otherwise this will have been a expensive trip for me 